Hello again, it's Miss Catherine Long from Clark County School District, first grade teacher. And now you hear the birds chirping in this video. I wanted to wrap up our series on gifted students at home with some positive growth mindset inspiration. Growth mindset is a buzzword right now in classrooms and on the internet. And it's the idea that if you believe you can keep growing and are willing to explore that and explore growth, then you will keep growing. If everything is the way it is, you just kind of stop where you're at. And for kids, it's so powerful to know that even if they feel they're the smartest in their class, they're above grade level reading, there's still not a finish line. There's no let's sit and just stop. There's maybe sit and reflect on what worked and what didn't, and then eventually get up and keep moving forward because that's growing, right? Or moving sideways, or maybe backing up and trying something again a little bit different. That's growth mindset. So here's a quote from bitsofpositivity.com. I'll link it down below. And it says, if parents want to give their children a gift, and I think you could replace the word parent with sibling, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, caregiver, babysitter, nanny, cousin, neighbor. I know so many parent figures in our children's lives. The best thing they can do is to teach their children to love challenge, to be intrigued by mistake, enjoy effort, and keep on learning. Oh, I know so many kids, I'm gonna say that again, because I know so many kids that really don't like doing hard stuff. Even though they have the power to do the hard stuff, they have this resistance to it because they're really scared of failing even if the failing is what's gonna help them rocket launch forward, actually. So love challenge, be intrigued by mistakes. Hmm, why didn't that work? Like our school garden, we made the biggest mistake with where the school garden at Whitehead is planted, it gets a lot of shade and it just flooded with water every time it rained or we watered it and the plants all drowned. Granted, the kids loved that the weeds were resilient and they still grew and we watched them grow, but our plants didn't really grow the way we expected. So I figured out at home in this coronavirus time at least I could find more sunny spots to plant our plants this spring and eventually at school one day we will plant them in a different spot next time and I will show the kids that are planting with me pictures of when they didn't grow from the mistake of planting them in the shade so anyway that those challenges and mistakes keep kids learning that way your children don't have to be slaves of praise. They don't have to just look for affirmation of good job. You do it. They will have a lifelong way to build and repair their own confidence. And I think that is so resilient in this time of racism and oppression and poverty is for kids to know how valuable they are. And it brings tears to my eyes because they really are special, each and every one of them. And our gifted students especially need to remember that they are unique and loved and continue growing and find ways to better the world around them by being themselves and by not giving up and not having that fixed mindset of, well, I'm the best, so I'll always be the best. Which unfortunately is sometimes what gets portrayed to them as the way to be a winner but if we all keep growing we're gonna have a really awesome 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 world so go out there and work with your gifted students feel free to email me again the links below to some more positive quotes to read with your kids are down below have a great summer everybody